Hi, I'm Donna Jordan from Jordan Fabrics. Come on inside, I want to show you something. Look at these beautiful prints that just came in from Robert Kaufman. Now my husband Matt ordered all of these and they are just making my fingers itch to start sewing with them. Now these are batiks and they're striped and the colors are variegated along the length of the fabric. So you get a lot of different colors within each bolt. It's a little difficult to mix these into a quilt, different, different prints of them into one quilt but I've come up with a pattern that only uses one fabric. Let me show you all the different colors here. So we've got plenty of color variation right there to make a quilt, but it's just a little challenging to get all these into one quilt that looks really good, but I've got the world's easiest method, and I think you're really gonna like how it turns out. So I'm gonna iron up some, and I'm gonna get Matt to cut it. Now I always iron my fabrics before I cut them. These lines are a little bit wavery, but you still want to make sure you've got the fabric nice and flat before you cut it. So I'm, I've opened the whole fabric up and I'm going to steam press all over it and make sure there's no wrinkles and then I'm going to give it to Matt. Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, today for my cutting, I'm going to be using the plastic grid ruler, a weight, hand weight, eight pound this time, doesn't really matter how heavy it is, and a 60 millimeter offal cutter. This pattern gets cut into 10 inch squares. And I'm, Donna got the fabric prepared for me and ironed it and put it on the table. Um, the sales rep who came and showed me these fabrics um, had a pattern that she brought that used multiple pieces of the stripe. And I'm just going to be using one fabric, one of the stripe colors. Get this set up. So there's a first little cut there. This is 26, we're going 10 inches, so I'm going down to 16. I've got my 10 inch strips, and now I'm just going to turn it to get the squares. And I'm going to move this down where I can reach it very easily, set it here, and I'll be cutting up this zero line out to 10 and of course then 20. I'm going to cut two of the strips at a time. I could cut one at a time. It doesn't really matter. This is all you need to make the pattern right here. I just need 24 squares, 10 inches by 10 inches. This is the really fun part of this quilt. All you need to do is take two of these squares that look pretty close. So these two look pretty close. So I'm going to take these over to my cutting surface here. Now I'm going to cut these on the diagonal. So the first one I'm going to cut in this direction. So I'm just going to put my ruler from corner to corner and give one cut. Now I'm going to cut the other square the other direction. So I'm just going to cut this one this way. Now to make our block, all we're going to do is we're going to take this one and this one and we're going to switch positions. I'm not going to flip them over. I'm just simply going to put this one here and this one here. And then I'm going to stitch this together and stitch this together and it just makes just beautiful squares. So we practiced cutting these the other day and every time we cut them, it's just a joy to look at. So I'm gonna cut up the rest of these and then we'll start sewing them together. These are both cut diagonally, so I'm going to switch out the pieces again. So what you want is you want the same color meeting up against itself. And these are right side up, so I'm just going to fold this over and I'm gonna fold this over, and then I'm gonna make a stack of these, and I'm just going to alternate the way they're laid out. So I'm gonna be able to take the whole stack over to the machine and just stitch them, and I know they won't get mixed up. So all we have to do is make sure that these two pieces are lined up, 
and we're going to use a quarter inch seam and we're just going to carefully stitch along the edge here. Now it is cut on the bias so you want to be careful you don't stretch it too much. But we're going to steam press it when we're done. So that'll help it lay nice and flat. So that is the whole block right there. So we're going to iron this with the seam to one side and then we're going to make a whole bunch of them. Now if you think your blocks are not perfectly stitched or not perfectly square, you can recut them. You can make them smaller if you like. But since there's only those two big pieces, it's pretty easy to just sew them and be done. I always like to iron the block closed first. Then I'm going to open it up. And you'll notice that the stripes don't line up perfectly. They don't have to line up perfectly. They're cut from different parts of the fabric. This one is pretty close, but some of them, you're gonna have colors completely opposite and they won't meet and that's okay. It's, it's gonna be beautiful when we get the whole quilt done. This was probably one of the speediest quilts I've ever made. It went together so fast and it is so much fun. So I made 24 blocks and the quilt turned out about 36 by 54. It would be really easy to make it twice as big. It was so much fun in this color that I made another color. So here is an earth toned color. Again, really, really fun. And you can kind of see that I put my blocks in diagonal color bands. You could put them just random if you want, but I found that I had four blocks that were pretty similar. So I did those four in a diagonal line. These four, pretty similar again, did them in a diagonal line. So it makes kind of a flow. Now I used one more combination, couldn't resist. I used the same number of blocks, but I was able to get two baby quilts out of it. And I found this beautiful batik that coordinated, coordinated so well, I put a little border on it. So this one's about 34 by 42. The whole line is in batiks, just goes together so fast. And Matt is going to pre-cut the 10 inch squares for you. So we will have this available as a kit and we will also have the download so that you can cut your own out of these elemental fabrics or any other striated or variegated kind of fabric that you might have. Thanks for watching our tutorial today and happy quilting.